before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire from stop motions, news videos, reviews, music occasionally. All my social media accounts are linked down below. And now, let's get straight to it. Okay, so I just got out of the theater seeing Rise of the Beast. Just got out like two and a half hours ago. Got home, ate, thinking about the movie, some of my thoughts on it. Uh, this is my initial reaction. This is not an official review, which is why there's no lights on. I'm not, the, the camera isn't up on a tripod. It's just a little heart to heart with you guys on my initial reaction of Transformers Rise of the Beast. So, um,. First up, I want to say my theater was terrible. Easily one of my worst theater experiences. Not in terms of the movie, but the people that were attending it with me. There was a couple, two parents, that took... I don't know if they were all their kids or, like, um, relatives or whatever. But they took at least ten kids into the theater, sitting in all in the same row. They, they took up about half of the row that we were behind. We were behind them, and they were loud, I'd say about 70% of the movie. Not loud to the point where you couldn't hear or understand anything, but they were obnoxious, you know? It, it, it's little kids going to going to go see a Transformers movie. I mean, <laughs> the outcome does not sound great, am I right? And it really was not. But outside of that, the movie itself, I really enjoyed it. Like, <clears throat> I was really... Um, not surprised, but just, it was like a breath of fresh air a little bit, similar to how Bumblebee was when all of us first saw that movie in theaters. Uh, definitely takes from that a little bit, takes from the Bayverse, does its own thing a little bit too, takes from, you know, all the other iterations of Transformers that came before it, the cartoons, comics, you know, you see a lot of familiar things, this is definitely a Transformers movie, obviously. Um... The action was pretty great. At times, I gotta admit, it was a bit hard to follow at times, you know, because of the dark settings, like in... Um, I'm not gonna go into spoilers, by the way, but there were two fight scenes where, at times, for a few seconds there, it's a bit hard to follow. But I'll, I'll touch on that more in my review. I'm gonna be doing a review... Probably it'll drop tomorrow where I'll go into non-spoiler review first and then into the spoiler review later on in the video. So just just a little warning there. Um, but I'd say the movie has a bit of pacing issues. Um, I felt like things could have been touched upon more. We could have gotten to see more of the robots interacting with each other. There was one relationship in particular that I think, well... There's a couple of them that I think we could have seen more of developing in terms of re relationships um, that I'll touch on in my review. Um, but other than that, in terms of pacing and certain robots not getting enough screen time or time to shine, uh, there were a lot of robot time in this movie except for um, after the opening sequence. We get a lot of human um, setting up the human characters in the movie for about 10-15 minutes there. And then it just goes right in. It's, it gets pretty crazy. It, it just doesn't stop really fast-paced with this movie, which is why I think another 15-20 minutes could have been a bit better and explained some things a bit more and went into some of the characters and how they interact with each other just a wee bit more. But um, that's sort of a minor issue. And some of the stuff with Optimus... I'm not one of the ones, like, goes against Bay vs. Optimus and is like, this is an Optimus Prime. I mean, it's a war in real life. Things like that are going to happen. I mean, it's not an 80s cartoon, so I don't really mind that. But there were things in terms of dialogue that did feel a bit weird. Not in terms of, like, his characterization, because um, we knew this, is, this was going to happen. And plus, it's not really out of the norm either for Optimus to be like that either. Um, but in terms of the written dialogue with Optimus, I felt like, um, there were certain times where he says things, and he says the same thing, but for, like, a different scene. It, w it was with one particular phrase. It's not with Autobots roll out or something like that. <laughs> I mean, obviously, that would be pretty cool to hear multiple times, but it was just, like, a sentence that he said multiple times 
throughout the movie. I think like two or three times he said this one line, which I'll touch on in my uh, spoiler review. But other than that, you know, a few minor things and the pacing being my major issue with this movie. I really love it. I think it's it might be one of my favorite Transformers movies. And there's my cat trying to get into my room. If you hear a door banging, it is my little feline trying to enter the room while I'm recording video. But yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. Probably my favorite Transformers movie. Uh, I think I'm going to go see it again at some point. Oh, shoot. I'm covering the camera. Uh, go see it again on like a weekday or something, a week or two from now to um, just gather things a bit better. Or next Tuesday or something. I don't know. But, yeah, might be one of my favorite Transformers medias of all time. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I really, I really, really enjoyed this movie. A um, few minor issues and the pacing being my major problem with it. But even that's sort of minor because I feel like in terms of the pacing problem, I think that's just me being used to um, the longer Bay movies being two and a half hours, two and a half and 45 minutes, uh, and they go in these long, drawn-out exposition or scenes where they're explaining stuff for a long time, and you don't get that in Rise of the Beast. You do get explanations for what's going on, but it's very fast-paced. It's really fast-paced, which is a good thing, but... Um, yeah, anyway, I really enjoyed the movie. I really love it. And if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Transformers Rise of the Beast is a valid Transformers movie. It is so dope. If you're a Transformers fan, you're going to like this movie or love it, depending on, you know, how you feel about certain things. But yeah, definitely check this out. This was my initial reaction. Stay tuned for the non-spoiler and spoiler review coming out probably tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll catch you next one. Bye.